In this video, we are going to have a look at an introduction to Kite app. Let us start with opening the app. The first thing that you need to do is use your authentication pin to navigate to the home screen. Here we have 6 main categories. First you have the market watch where you can see two market indices namely Nifty 50 and Bank Nifty. Secondly you have the watch list wherein you can add up to 50 stocks per watch list. There are 5 watch lists in total. Then you have the order section wherein you have 3 subsections. Orders that have been placed but are still under processing. Orders that have been processed which include cancelled and rejected orders as well. GTT or good till triggered orders which are a new feature to place an order under certain conditions and the order will get activated only when the specified conditions are met. Next up there is the portfolio section. Here you can see your holdings and positions. We will discuss what is meant by holdings and positions in our next video. Next there is an app section wherein you can know about various platforms and apps offered by Zerodha. And finally you have the account section where you have all the information related to your account. Your funds, your profile, settings, console, support, user manual and an option to log out from the app. Here is a tip for you. You can access the market watch from anywhere in the app by simply clicking on the arrow in the top right corner of the screen. Now let us take a look at a few adjustments that might be helpful in using the app. Go to the account section and then go to settings. Here you can adjust the app theme to light or dark, whichever you feel more comfortable with. When you select dark theme, you also get an additional option for black mode, which makes things even darker. You can also activate fingerprint unlocking and then you can access the app without entering your pin every time you use the app. Lastly, you have the option to change the source of charts that you use by selecting either Chart IQ or Trading View. Next, let us see how you can create meaningful watch lists that would save time and also make your experience more intuitive. To rename a watch list, long press on the name of the watch list. Now type in the name that you would like to give. We are naming our watch list as Banks. Now we need to add Banks to this watch list. For this, search for the bank that you want to add in the search bar. Typing in the first few letters would be just enough and you would see it appear in the drop down list. Click on this add button and the stock will get added to your watch list. You can add multiple stocks in a single attempt by simply typing in the name, clicking the add button, then clear the name, type another name, again click on the add button and repeat the same process to create the watch list. You can create other watch lists similarly. As an example, let us see how to create an options watch list for Nifty and Bank Nifty. Type in the name of the index, select the strike price that you want to add and click on the add button. There you have it in your watch list. We have covered the basic overview of the Kite app in this video. In the next video, we will take a look at some of the more significant features that are available in the app. Thank you for being here.